I think from an industry point of view, looking at this course, it's hugely encouraging because it seems almost the course is ahead of what the industry is doing in the websites, in your plans for bringing the video online um, and organising the newsroom in a multimedia way. Well, this is the aspiration of the BBC at the moment. We want to see an online site where journalists with all um, skills across video making, audio, across uh, tech skills, come together in one site and in the BBC's eyes, this is called BBC Local, it's still going through a lot of its public accountability tests but next year we'll be looking for people who have got the skills to do perhaps two out of those three disciplines and really that's the future for us as an industry so it's fantastic to visit here today and see you're almost ahead of the game. Ahead of the game? Ahead of the game. Well, <laughs> where are we ahead of the game? Well, because traditionally, when journalists have been coming to us in the past, they think they're going into radio or they think they're going into television. And increasingly, you're seeing people coming out with an expectation that they will work in two, if not three, of the media. So then when they arrive at the BBC, if they don't use those skills, they're actually disappointed. And that's what I mean about being ahead of the game, that the BBC is in the process of re-examining our job descriptions, re-examining our working practices, it's not about getting um, people to, to do too much in a, in a shift, in one coverage of a story. It's about actually giving the audience some added value on each platform that they go to so that a journalist has the intelligence, creativity, foresight, understanding of the platforms they're working on to put their story in different ways on the different platforms and have the skills to understand that. That's great. If you were starting as a young person, uh, you're still uh, very young. Oh, I'm very incredibly young. Even young <laughs> starting again a career in journalism, journalism training, mm -hmm. what would be the most important things you'd look for, the most important things you'd do? The biggest learning point I've had in my career at the BBC is to realise that it's about attitude and people skills and then it's about your technical or your journalistic skills. If you're not hungry, if you're not polite, if you don't have good people skills, it doesn't matter if you can do the perfect edit, you're not going to get on. And it's such a competitive environment, and it certainly is at the BBC, that I think you've got to really ensure that you spend a lot of time thinking about how you come across every day you learn something, no matter how long you've been in the BBC, you've got to keep developing, keep being self-critical, keep on your toes and keep being hungry. Be curious, don't spend hours and hours in the newsroom. Get out and live your life and have something to say. Journalism's a hard career, quite competitive, quite difficult to get into, quite hard work, not especially well paid. What's the big attraction? I think it gives you a huge buzz, does journalism. I think to be able to go on television, say if you're working on South Today, and know that you've put that programme together or you've at least contributed to it, to do an online site where the hits can be 200,000 click over in an hour, you know, it's a fantastic buzz, but you've got to get it right and you've got to actually earn your place in the institution that is the BBC. You know, they, they, they want the best and that's the fun of it because if you get into it, you have a ball and the rewards are huge. Not monetarily, but the rewards, the self-satisfaction about it is huge.